This story has been breaking overnight, really began yesterday afternoon, went through the night. Crews in Milford fighting a fire at a recycling plant and a stubborn fire it was. News 8's Ken Pierce is live this morning in Milford with details. Good morning, Kent. Good morning, Chris, and let me set the scene for you. This is Old Gate Lane back here. Over there is where the High Life Fronton was years ago. It's now a low, so we're just off of exit 40 from 95. They had the fire was over on the other side of the road. They had the road closed all night because this is the only fire hydrant anywhere around here. So they had to stretch this hose all the way across Old Gate Lane. Now, at any moment, they could need this hose again. But for the moment, the street is back open. The hose is on the side here. Let me tell you about the fire. It started about 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon at the Milford City Recycling Plant, uh, and it went all night long. It was raging at the very beginning. The firefighters got it contained in the overnight hours, so now it's still just smoldering a little bit. It was never anything dangerous. Yes, it's a recycling plant, but the only thing that was burning here was a whole lot of wood, and that was part of the problem why it burned so long, according to the battalion chief, was there was so much wood. The problem was here is that it involved a lot of old uh, stumps from various sites like that. It's very deep seated. Um, we're looking at quite a few tons of material that has to be removed and the water to get to. What they're doing right now is they've got an excavator that's kind of digging through the pile of wood and mulch. That's what they do is they turn it into mulch. They're trying to get at all the smoldering spots down there. That will take a while. Old Gate Lane is back open right now, and that's a very good thing, not just for the morning travelers, but also because the city of Milford's school bus depot is right across the street from the recycling plant. So they were concerned about the buses getting out on their way. Those buses will now be able to get where they go as usual today. Unless, of course, the fire kicks up and they have to reattach the hose and string it across the road yet again. We're live in Milford. I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.